this is going to be a solo run. Um, so we'll take it decently slow and step by step. So you can see the most optimal way to do the uh, missions here. Watch the cutscene. Withering winter, enchanting spring, the virtual symbols that have been buried. Here, where the last hope of humanity hides. Please take it. It tells the forgotten history. At the beginning of the story, we were, we were so, so passionate, passionate about the ocean that, that we wanted to claim it for our own. In this way, we explored the sea, understanding its world moderately in madness, until we saw the fall of the giant whale and witnessed the high fireworks that fell down to the ground. So it's going to be a little bit weird. It's going to spawn us in initially. Um, it's going to make us to where we can walk around, but we're going to wait a second. Because it actually has another cutscene. Uh, transitions in this game are a little bit hard right now. Which I I foresee them working on it. But uh, we're going to wait here for the... Uh... There it goes. dream again. Was she trying to tell me something? Why? Why did she want me to have this? Lupus? Lupus! Nothing strange happened while I was sleeping, right? Kind of a crazy looking wolf if you ask me. Stop thinking about the mysterious person. Gathering herbs for grandma is our priority. Lupus, let's go. You can also do this game in VR. However, uh, my VR settings aren't currently all set up to be very fluent, especially when on recording. So what we're going to do is we're going to just play it in normal desktop mode. Um, you can play first person, or you can play third person. I don't care whatever your cup of tea is, we're going to do third person. Um, right now, we're going to... Access your menu by hitting tab. Uh, in the tab menu, you can get um, build, missions, backpack, attributes, map, collection tags. We'll go through all of this as we as we need it. Uh, systems, village, well, villager tab, uh, craft, and build. So um, right now, we don't have to do anything with any of this. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Um, we gotta collect stuff right here up in the top corner, the top right hand corner. It's uh, Grandma's prescription. Collect 
um, urchin fruits. So we have one of three already collected. We're just gonna go ahead and take it in. The urchin fruits are over here. It automatically tags your main quest for you. I'm just gonna go ahead and head up here. I'm not gonna run or anything. So here are the f here's what urchin fruits look like. We're just gonna collect the two we need. I'm gonna collect one more. All right. Uh, get ogen gland. Uh, so we got to eliminate a small ogen. So this is where I'm gonna tell you to double check everything. You can actually go ahead and hit uh, tab here and check our mission. Of course, we can trace it. It's just gonna aggressively track it give it one of these instead. Um, let's see here, we're gonna go look in our backpack. So we have food, we have water, bow and arrow. Okay, so in order to equip our weapon, uh, we have fists equipped right now. So we're gonna hit Z. Let's wait Z. Uh, just equip your bow. You can go and collect wood and make more arrows. So we should have enough right now. Before we go and eliminate this Ogin over here, um, we're going to come up on this box over here and some bandits. Um, see underneath our health bar, which we have in the top left hand corner, uh, we're thirsty. So what we're going to do is we can drink this water. I don't recommend drinking the water just yet. Save that. These fruits will solve hunger and thirst. So we're just going to eat a couple of these and we're going to be solved. Actually, you just needed to eat one, so we're good. Urchin fruits are lifesaver. Uh, so we're going to come up here. We've got two boxes. Each playthrough on the campaign is kind of weird. Um, sometimes it's different, sometimes it's not. Take all that. We don't need the frying pan. I couldn't wear that though. Um, you can use a crossbow. However, I prefer the standard bow. I think it hits a little harder and it's a little bit easier to use. You can ready your weapon by hitting X. It doesn't really tell you that. So we're going to come up on these guys and we're going to take them out. Take out the guy that's gonna rush us first. Combat in this is a little bit easy. Um, strafing is king. You're gonna be able to outstrafe nearly anything. As long as we move around, the club guy's not going to really get to us. With these shields, if you fire directly at them, you won't do damage. So, go for the legs, kill the dog, steal the aggro. Alright, so, the anticlimactic battle is out of the way. So, we'll equip the armor that they got us. Um, we won't really be needing this club, so we're just going to go ahead and drop the club. I'm going to turn down uh, the game's just a smidge. That should be fine. Alright, so um, it said we got some attribute points. 
So, uh, my c mine's gonna look a smidge different than what your guys' will, because I've already went through these campaigns and I have equipped the other stuff. However, uh, here's your stats. Um, as you level up, you'll get better stats. We're level 2 right now. You're gonna go over here. This is your pie chart on what you specialize in. Um, these are your perks menu. You'll get perks as you level up. It'll just ask you about them. Um, here's the upgrade points. These we want to keep for right now. We don't want to really touch. Um, you'll allocate. Well, allocate. Uh, excuse me. You'll allocate these as you need. Um, I'll explain more on that as we go. And yes, um, this run is completely unscripted. I am. I just know how to do it, and I'm going in just to uh, keep the experience fresh. This guy should have honestly. Oh no, he drank his uh, healing potion. Where'd the other one go? There they are. Seems to be it. So we're gonna go down here and um, attack these Ogins. Ogins are really weird little floaty creatures. Normally this is going to poison you, but I don't think it's going to poison us this early in the campaign. So these are the Ogens that it wants us to attack, and we're going to ready our bow. We're not going to really focus on many side quests, per se, right now. Um, we're going to focus mainly on the main quest. Um, this is an entire side quest that you can do to help them out. Um, we're not going to really need to help them out all too much. So we're going to do. So now uh, that we came down here and killed our Ogin, um, we're going to look for uh, Asphodel, Asphodel, um, however you want to pronounce it. So we're going to come up here. And basically the game learning everything. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's any anybody under there. So this is telling us to climb up there. We got bandits over here. Um, we're gonna take them out for the sake of uh, experience here. Again, excuse my newness. There's like zero aim assist in this game too.
armor to mess around with. Some healing potions. Healing potions are very good. Bandage is a little bit better though. It doesn't poison you. Um. I have a whole lot. I'm gonna drink one of these waters. Drop one of these bows. more stats to allocate. Okay, we're just gonna chill out at four. Um until we need to see what we we'll need them for. So you walk up to any surface, you just keep holding W. Um your character should scale it. In VR mode, which is interesting, is you can climb any surface in VR mode. As long as you can get your hands to it. So we can't really climb up past this point until we get a... Um, it doesn't really tell you all too much. Uh, so we're going to hit Z. We're going to go to our torch here. Torch can catch things on fire. In VR mode, you can actually cook your meat by waving the torch on it, which is kind of cool. We're going to catch this on fire. Way. Once the animation of it completely burning to the ground is gone, we can actually walk forward and we can climb. It just wants us to get up here. Um, we're not going to really find anything up here. Go figure. So it's going to have us go over there to that village real quick. Fantastic. Alright, so um, there's no real trick to uh, dropping down gracefully. What you got to do, uh, you go to where you fall and then immediately look back, hold forward, and you'll start to climb. You can hold Alt, look around if you want. Such a pretty game. So we're gonna come over here. Uh, there's some bandits there. We'll take care of them here in a second. Mm, what we gotta do now is we're going to the village to talk to Bering. Around the setting, real quick. Do the five volume. Gathering's a little on, uh, a little on the low side. That's okay. Uh, so we're gonna take these bandits out real quick. Not with a torch, though. Uh, let's try the other bow. Gonna kite these guys to attack us from this way. Oh, uh, they're not even gonna come back for that. They're just gonna go straight in for the camp. Okay, 
I got a pistol. So it's apparent it's uh pretty detrimental that we save these guns that they have because it's gonna overall help us out. Take out gun chick right here. Point blank and we're missing. Alright, so we're out of ammunition. Yep, so. I'm saying that there's no tree super close by, so we'll switch over here to the stone axe real quick. We're gonna go over here and hit this tree a couple times. Acquired some rough wood. Now that we got some rough wood, we can go over here to craft. I guess a quiver or two. Looks like we uh, dispatched the bandits. How much open space do we got? Drop the rest of this wood real quick. Pick up this before she picks it up. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna come up here, talk to Baring. Hello. Basically gonna talk to him about giving grandma the medicine. Alright, so what it has us doing now is we're going to go ahead and build a research station, build a radio receiver, build a hut, and build crossbow defenders. So let's start off with that hut. So we're going to go up here to build mode. Alright, so uh, the hut that we're looking for, I'm uh, going to be here in buildings. It's going to be a small hut. So you can place it anywhere in this blue area. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, yeah, we'll slam it down right here. That's fine. Uh, then we needed, what, a research station? So let's, uh, f let's focus on just getting this hut done first. So we got a... Uh, in total, we're going to need four stone, yeah, four stone, eight wood. So uh, let's go collect the stone and wood. We have a lot of stuff. Uh, NPCs will also, as you just witnessed, will contribute to it. Which is crazy, because you can just normally pile stuff in there and they'll do whatever with it. So we're going to need a uh, horse, or wood, two stone. So we got that, now we go over here to the wood. Excuse me while I burn too much stamina. Come on, cry baby. Right. Probably gonna have to up our gathering here shortly. I'm gonna go over here and add some contributions to the uh, hut. we failed uh, so that's gonna just take our resources all right so we did that uh, let's try going for the final one all right so we built the hut 
Got that off the checklist. So now we need to build, uh, let's do a radio receiver next. So um, I believe that's over here in furniture. So we're just gonna, yeah, we'll put this right outside. Um, do we have a fire? Okay, yeah, we have a fire. Good stuff. Get this research station also building. Take it off to the side here. Maybe. Make a storage container as well. Slam a bed in here for the... Alright, so for the defense turret, it's an other tab. We need a crossbow defender. So, it's locked. We have to go around to those little floaty ball thingies. Um, off in the distance right there. Little uh, white thing. We have a orange one right over there. Basically, uh, we gotta go up there and meet the requirements. And when we meet the requirements, we can uh, get what's called the module on the inside. Let's go ahead and finish these out. So, I need more stone uh, so let's up our gathering. Oh, hey, look. Okay, so we got a perk here. Um, max level in this is level 30 at the current time of this video. So uh, you get sp randomized perks every time you level up. Um... Alright, so I'm only going to say heavy firearms because I know the final boss of this mission and that's going to help out a lot. So uh, we're going to, we got 12 points. So that's science. Um, let's up our gather right, just for right now. We're going to max out our gather. Five percent gather rate on the stone here. Okay. Once we get all this stuff built, we'll go ahead and uh, open up those modules. Alright, so see that we built the radio receiver. Um, it'll give you a map in your lower uh, left hand. Uh, my web camera is actually right down there in the lower left hand. Uh, so you'll see what I mean. Uh, what it, what the radio receiver does is actually just gives you map. And then you can actually uh, see how much of it you've unlocked. Now there will be a lot of bugs in this game. Sometimes it'll reset, you know, progress, uh, making all these, you know, all the buildable stuff. Just keep trying and uh, you'll eventually get it. So now that we got these built, we're going to use the container here. We're going to store a little extra stuff here in the container. Well, what little of it's ours. Looks like we stole some gun ammo. It's not to worry though. Might have been crybaby. No. Mm. I don't know what's going on then. 
Alright, so now that we got that built, our, uh, we need to find the node that will unlock the crossbow defender for us. So we'll walk up to these things. We'll open them. Uh, basic furniture. Probably not going to be in that. There is a bike down here to uh, make everything faster. I highly recommend using the bike. So... gonna roll up here. I'm gonna go to a bunch of these that are in the immediate area. I'll touch base on what these gears are here in a second. I'm gonna want you to see what we're gonna need them for before we just randomly collect them. Simple firearms. It might be in simple firearms, but we're, for the sake of argument, we're going to go around and collect some more. That way we're actually leveled up as well. Alright, so, we can kill two birds with one stone if we do this. Alright, so we're going to go over here. This is a, uh, an advanced one or senior one. Um, it's going to need three of some type of material. Those are called gears or uh, machine parts. So we're going to need those. We have a 39% chance. It's, uh, it's our science skill. So we're going to have to level up here before we start going for those, uh, those orange ones. I'm going to stick to the white ones for right now. And after we collect all the white ones that we can, we're going to go ahead and go to blue. Then once we collect some blue ones, then we'll continue on. So there's bandits up here. Uh, how much ammo do I have? Probably not enough. We have axe out. Let me hit this real quick. Let's go switch our short bow here. Go in. Let's clear this area for bandits. Fighting in the dark's really bad. I don't ever recommend doing it. So as long as you backstep and they don't have a gun, you're golden. So this ancestral bow never breaks. That's why I prefer using it. So we cleared out the bandits. That's just going to be another person. It's going to give us a side quest, I do believe. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Uh, she wants uh, monkey poop. Lots and lots of monkey poop. Uh, we got a uh, foggy and rainy. So this right here is going to be a um, teleporter. When we go to the final boss, we'll touch base on how we're going to use this teleporter and for what reason. Right now, just collect it. We'll go up in here and go into your inventory. Um, I'll teach you how to use one of those before we go to the final boss. So we're going to open this. 95% success rate and we fail. Two times in a row. Damn. Alright, so we're going to go back here to our bike. Not even going to bother really looting those guys. Alright, 
right, so we saw we needed those machine parts. So the smaller little nodes here, we're going to have an easy time collecting those. I'm going to go after your craft skill, by the way. Got a 64%. That's decent for what we're doing right now. Fail. You get about five or six out of these attempts before it just breaks. Okay, so we had that bike with us. The bike has a storage for itself. I recommend putting all of our gears in the bike storage. Also, I'm just going to put our nodes for right now in the bike storage as well. So we leveled up. Go over here. Uh, let's up our craft to at least five. What's five give us? Oh, no. Is there any more gears? I see a pile. Don't worry, we got this. Oh, thank God it's clearing up. 71%, that's much better. Failed to get it. You want to collect all of these as you can. Because we're going to need it to help us on the final part of this mission. Now up to seven. Gives us a nearly 80% chance. Should be fine. Failed to grab it. Enough for three more. It's one. It's two. Three. So we're gonna go over here back to the bike, offload what we got. Alright, so we'll keep the rest of it in our inventory from here on out. get um, a level or two so we can uh, upgrade our science. Nighttime in this game, there is no adjustable gamma setting that I have found. So uh, we're kind of SOL when it comes to uh, doing things in the night unless you have a bike or a vehicle like a truck. There's any more back here? Shouldn't need the green stuff just yet. Alright. So what we're gonna do, real quick, we're gonna learn these modules. So what we'll do is we go over here to the research station, access the research station, select the one that we want. So we're, um, I believe, uh, gosh, which one was this one? Simple firearms. This one might be it. If it is, we are still going to go out and get those other ones. So you hold it down. We got a 79% chance of getting it. So we just got to wait. All right. So what does it unlock for us? 
We do not. Get the weapons bench and some basic firearms. And this one that we're going to do is uh, furniture. 95% chance on this one. Oh, there it is. Basic furniture. But like I just said, what we're going to do, we're still going to go out and get those other ones real quick. So we can have some levels. Got a new perk. Um... We're going to increase our max health. Gonna up our science. Okay, actually, stop by and grab this one real quick. Sixty six percent chance. Still might be a little low. There's one other place we can go to uh, get more gears. Alright. Got basic vehicles. So we're going to go collect some more gears real quick. Don't be afraid to just drive right off the edge here. You can't get knocked off the bike can't take damage while on the bike unless it's by an enemy so no amount of fall damage can hurt you we're gonna go over here and uh, collect uh, some more gears real quick again another side quest we're not gonna be doing side quests during this uh, playthrough we're just gonna mainly do uh, Anasea There's more gears right up over here. There's some collectible blues. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna tag all these and maybe get those two and then head back. Uh, what this does is it's gonna help us level up, and in the long run, leveling up is going to help us out a lot because we get more HP and uh, more stamina and more access to perks which is nice one two three four And collect these little ones real quick. Then we'll offload them in the bike and then we'll refill our inventory and then go out. Perfect. We'll keep it at that for right now.
Put some more points into science while we're out here collecting. Uh, we are a little bit on the hungry side, aren't we? Let's go ahead. Um, gonna eat this meat. And then we're gonna also take all the, the water. Um, any type of meat will completely sate your hunger meter. And uh, bottles of water will completely fill your water meter. So, should be good for a minute on there. Well, I might want to just stop that. Well, you know what? We're just going to let it ride. We'll go collect that here in a second. Amateur equipment. I hope that's not by a raider base. Well, it looks like we're going on an adventure. That bike's just not stopping. Nobody. Oh, no. They're there. Where did our bike go? There it is. This map is huge in the grand scheme of things. Go all the way out over here. Where we are. Go all the way out over past over here. Down to uh, desert looking region. Map's pretty pretty impressive. Giant spider looking mountain thing. Baby. And each area has its own weather and biome, which is kind of cool. And it's not just a a permanent weather or biome. It'll it'll shift. Like this area has its own weather. I don't know if it's actually got an algorithm to it or if it's just random evented, but still cool nonetheless. Amateur equipment again. You'll get doubles of these. But that's okay. I'm mainly doing this for the experience. Steer clear of uh, bandits in this area. They are very high level and they will one shot you. And then you lose everything that you got. can be very gutsy like me right here. And there we go. Yeah, really close to me just now. Here we go again with the bike. Come on. Alright. Got back on the bike. We're just going to go right up up top here. I believe there's an orange one up here. Yep. Oops. So this should put us at the right level um, after everything's said and did. Normally I'd say go get that one. But it's got a bunch of bandits around it, so I do not recommend doing that at all yet. There's some more gear parts, but that's really close to a raider base. Don't want to get too close to that. Basic vehicle. Nice. The blue ones should only take us one. 
normally if we fell as the character, that would have killed us. But luckily we have our uh, trusty broken bike right now. Praise uh, Nostis developers. Guys want to make the game a little bit harder, make fall damage for vehicles as well. But honestly, I'm not complaining. Iron weapons. Alright, so we should have enough. What we're going to do is we're going to double back here. And, uh, go right up there. If you start to stall out on the bike or even the truck in this game, um, start angling up the mountain. We'll have some a mechanic a little bit closer to uh, Skyrim's mountain climbing. Oh my gosh, it's a burning tree. All oh, the stone is so abundant. On our free uh, exploration uh, instance, we have mined this entire area dry. Alright, we're back up here. We're just going to go ahead and jump off here. Run right over here. Start opening these bad boys. Going to get us a lot of experience. Can they see your held are? Skato! Connor! Level up quite a bit for that, which is good. Uh, so we're gonna build this turret now. Gonna go over here to the other and crossbow defender. This wants us to build one for right now. They should actually build it. Maybe not. Yeah, he's gonna grab the materials for it. Good, good, good. Candace, your held are Gonna take four wood, two stone. He should have enough in there. Or not. I mean, that's cool. Just gonna. He took it all. Let's be sneaky here. This is not conveniently placed by any means. Uh, my personal opinion on these turrets, I think they're junk. They don't do anything. Nobody saw that. Basically, we failed. So, I just need a couple more wood. What is our build for this? 50%, that is why. We're going to up our build. I 
Let's just make it an even 10. That should be fine for right now. 81%. That's much better than 50. <laughs> Alright, so we got that built. Mission update. Find bearing. Take grandma's medicine. Hello, La. Alright, so he gave us grandma's medicine. So we're gonna go give grandma her medicine in her hut. Spoiler alert. It doesn't end well. Grandma, I got the medicine. <coughs> Are you back, Arnie? Just stay in bed, Grandma. How many times have I told you? Your medicine is ready. Oh, thank you for all this, Arnie. I'm already a big girl. Could it be those bandits? You stay here, Grandma. I'll find out what's happening. Got some banditos okay, outside. Let's go I'll kill them. Don't worry, Grandma. You're safe. Some frame droppage here. There be bandits. Guess where his legs are. There's animals getting it on in the background right over there. Well, I mean. Crossbow defenders, it looks like. This flamethrower is going to come in pretty good handy. Okay. The boss that's going to spawn here is going to be, um, have a Gatling gun. That's what's going to help us out for the ending boss for this story. Well, to this part of the uh, story. I'm gonna go over here and recruit the villager it's telling us to recruit. This person can spawn in anywhere. Jojo the Sluggish. Come join me. Getting ready to have bandits attack us. We are the thirsty. I'm gonna eat one of those. Hello, La. Alright, so build more of these defender thingies. Go ahead and slam one right here. One right there. And one right here. We need to start building those. Get 
good stuff. So we might not be that lucky to get close enough to our uh, the boss in the next wave. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna gear up for uh, fighting the boss. I really don't want to fight this guy when it's dark out. Our backpack's full. SML San Torado. My bad. So used to my axed out character and the perks that I have, I rarely ever get stamina drain. My backpack is full. Go collect some uh, stone here in a second. I believe there's still stone over here. There's rat iron. Rough stone right here. Has the same break animation as Breath of the Wild. Kinda weird. I like it though. Cool. Put some stone over here. Go get some wood. I mean, A little bit of visibility wouldn't have hurt. Oh my lord. I'm sorry. Hopefully it gives us a little bit of time for these bandits. Okay, yeah, it'll give us a little bit of time. Um, try making a weapons bench.
pretty sure it was four, wasn't it? Oh, six. Go ahead and build this part. Um, need more wood. Bandits are attacking. Get up! Get up, you fool! What a bunch of trash! I'm taking on all of you! Alright, so what we're gonna do? I'm gonna fight them real quick. Use our gun. Actually, let's save the gun. Take these guys out. So we don't. We can't let this totem fall. We let the totem fall, it's game over. Flamethrower that we got a minute ago. We're gonna use our advantage. I'm gonna drop a grenade. So remember, keep strafing. Because if you stand still and let him hit you, that Gatling gun hurts. We needed to take his aggro off of that. I think I might have sabotaged our own mission. Oh. Come on. Close, please. Right. Hopefully this cutscene <laughs> prevents us from dying. <laughs> you better not think you won, because it ain't over yet. Oh, they're still attacking. Hmm. Should be okay. burning. Good. Good, good, good. Very damaged. Uh, note to self, so in the future, don't get so close as I did with the flamethrower. It gets really, really hairy if you get that close with flamethrower. But it worked out. Um... He took my medal. Um, but we do want that mini gun. I blind. 
I pick it up. There's a flamethrower. Okay, we picked up the minigun. I'm just blind. Can I finish that for me? Hey, look at you, man. We can make more pistols, too. But, uh, let's go check on Grandma. Um, spoiler alert again. It's not gonna be good. Kind of weird orientation. They should have made it where you're looking at Grandma's house on the hill. Grandma! No, Grandma! Don't be scared, Grandma. I'll get you out of there. <laughs> We're gonna save you, Grandma! Okay, so you wanna see how battle intensive this is? You're gonna pull out your torch. You're gonna walk up to this coral and you're gonna burn it to the ground. Normally I'd waste flamethrower ammunition, but you gotta keep that. So a better way to use uh, the torch. Don't worry, Grandma. Burning, burning this thing to the ground slowly. We're a little bit thirsty too. I don't have anything for thirst. Give it time, Grandma. It's almost done. turned into that thing after taking the medicine? Damn you, Ironforge Doctor! I'll bleed you dry for what you've done! And my dog's getting his anus handed to him by a, uh, an Arca. Way to go. Fight that Narca. So, uh, we have unlimited, uh, use down here of these uh, urchin fruits. Whatever playthrough you do, they'll always be here. Recommend always eating them. They'll uh, respawn every six minutes. Real lifetime. Over and get some metal real quick. So that outpost down there is where we're gonna fight the final boss of this uh, this act for uh, Panacea. So what we want to do, uh, we're gonna have to gear up for it. It gets pretty intense. Might take a couple of tries. But have no fear. We'll be resourceful and get through this. Oops. Don't mind me, I'm just swinging away here. That's an old Sanfento. Alright, we have enough. Gonna make some extra pistols. After we make those extra pistols, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make some more ammo. I'm going to try and go down there as prepared as possible.
pistols break fairly easy. I went through two people, what, two magazines? And this one's nearly broken. So, we will need more ammo. Well, I don't know. We might not be able to carry any more. We'd have to put some on the bike, too. That's probably what's going to end up happening. Um, so... Interesting. Um... We have points. And a new perk. Increase fist stiffness. Increase your max health. Uh, let's do increase max health again. Um, this one seems like a great idea. Uh, we won't be getting close though. For increasing max health again. This is great for endurance plays. Cold resist because it gets cold a lot. Um... But we're just going to go for Gladiator on this one. We're going to get this one for sure. Because we have some, uh, we have two big guns, a flamethrower and a Gatling gun. So. We will need, I believe, this iron for ammunition. Alright, so this is the tag collection. Well, the collection tag is going to tell all your available villagers that you want certain resource collected. Um, here over the next course, see, uh, they're already racing over here to uh, collect it. And they'll put it into whatever container or storage container is available at the time. Uh, we will need a s simple workbench for ammo. <laughs> we just need wood. So we're going to make a hammer. Um, hammer's going to be our trump card. Hammer CCs really well, as in knocking the uh, opponent down. reason we want to knock the opponent down is they can stay on the ground. And uh, we just keep abusing that and winning. However, we're going to only do that on a last case scenario. Oh, come on, get closer. You made a hammer. Keep the hammer on us too. At least I thought that's where it went. It said we made the hammer, right?
Oh, no. But, oh, it takes two. My bad. So we'll go over here and put it on the bike. Along with some of this ammo. do we want to get we don't want to go there and attack at dark so so normally grenades would be a good idea but we don't want to make grenades they don't do clearly enough damage Gonna need some wood. That way we can uh, make some quivers. Quiver-wise, we're good there, so we can start. Is our bike full? Pretty sure it was full. No, oh, it wasn't. Good, good, good. All right. So remember, how I said keep this teleporter beacon on you so what we're gonna do is uh, we're going nearly 800 some meters away that's a pretty fair jog and we're gonna need a way to get back to base quickly um, so say raiders attack or well, bandits attack us I need to get back that teleporter that we picked up um, over there by that other tree this node right here here we'll just drop that and I'll show you what it does so you'll drop it out of your inventory it'll land on the ground it'll then activate and now whenever you go through it you teleport um, I think this is a fair strategy to use um, whenever you need to get back to base pretty quick or back to your totem location or um, I mean, I lost an entire playthrough trying to attack this boss while this was being attacked while I was away. Um, when you die, you instantly drop it. So instead of walking 800 some meters away now, we just go over there and teleport to where our dead body was. Scurry, pick everything off of it, pick up the teleporter again and try to run out there, make a temporary base, collect all of our things, and go back in for another retry. So, um, we're gonna wanna melee, sure, flame immunity, that's fine. Um, we're gonna be uh, just up in our chute right now. I want that as high as possible. So it's max at 31. Um, let's just do melee because we have that hammer as well. Alright, so that should be good for this playthrough. Take the hammer. 
and put that on the bike. I would say we're good to rock. Um, put this back on there. The main thing we're going to go up and assault with, we're going to open up with, uh, let's do this pistol. We have 190 rounds. It's actually not a whole lot. Because that Gatling gun is going to burn through a lot of it. But Alright, let's start our adventure out there. They are not comfortable since they joined this camp. Well, we'll have to worry about that much longer. We're just going to make our way out, of, out over here. And uh, after we get down there, we're going to implement our strategy. Don't have to, again, don't have to worry about crashing on this bike. Pretty invincible from anything fall damage wise. Might be raining down there in that valley. Park the bike right over here next to the sulfur. Then we're gonna approach. Um, we're gonna get a cutscene and then start a boss fight with a uh, dual gun. What you? Oh. Two arrows at once. Nice move. Very skilled. Cut the crap! Bring me your tribes, Doctor! Compared to your archery, your conversational skill is surprisingly worse. Kick her out of here. Right now. <laughs> what nonsense. That, so they're gonna come through the whatever you want to call it. Oh, there she is. Here I am in my armpit. I'm gonna take out her underlings real quick. That guy right there will one shot you, so be careful. Big boy here. Frames are going to prevent him from moving, which is good. She's coming back for more. Dead. Whip out the 
machine gun. Remember, this is the Gatling gun we got from the first bandit boss. Comes in a lot. Where's the doctor? Tell handy. or die. So what if I tell you? The doctor is at the base camp with boss Hammer. The Iron Forge camp is impregnable. You and your dog won't have a chance in hell of getting to the boss. Sneak attack. Shame on your tribe. Was the um, first mission and panacea. So to recap real quick, what we did was uh, right off the bat, we just basically gathered, went around, collected those nodes, uh, made base of operation, built some basic workbenches, and uh, took content from there. Remember, this Gatling gun is going to be your grace. You'll need at least three pistols, over 200, uh, 762 ammo, and uh, this Gatling gun. You'll want to uh, take the defensive turret out there on the one that you come up to, then take out her lackeys, and then focus her down with the, the Gatling gun, and it should be fairly easy. Um, if it all you needed to get back to the base is a bandit attack happened, you just throw this down, walk onto it, you're back here ready to help your tribe take down the bandits. And then say you're, uh, well that's funny, say uh, you went back here, took them down, uh, you can easily just come right back to this, and resume your boss fight. As easy as that. Uh, don't forget to uh, comment down below if you thought this guide was helpful at all or this Let's Play was helpful. Um, if it was and you enjoyed any part of this or it was any, any type of helpful, um, a like and a subscribe would be fantastic. There will be more to come. Uh, the next video will be the...